you're watching Triple A Backstage. I'm Max. We're here with Heidi and Alistair from Cloud Control. How are you guys going? Really great. Really good. That's good. Great. That's good. And, and you've just gotten in. You're ready to. You're pumped. You're ready for Big Pineapple. Ready to rock. Oh yeah. <laughs> just eating some cheese. Yes. Backstage. So happy. Cheese and, and beverages as well to go with the cheese. Yeah. yeah. And Vicky's. Cheese and Vicky's. Mm. Yeah. That is high quality service. The fancy variety. Not Ooh. Just jack. Not like a jack. No. You got like a. Oh, your run of the mill. Like a water thin or something. Yeah. No, there's no, little Lavoche. Rectangular. Little Lavoche. You know, they, those things are like eight bucks a packet. Like, I don't buy those at home, man. No, man. That's... They're like boats and they really scoop oh. up the hummus, you know. Oh. I've, I don't even. I've never touched them. I can't afford that. That's. That does not. That does not work with the student life. <laughs> So um, obviously we're, we're loving Rainbow City, the latest single. What's what's the story behind it? Uh, well, that was well, yeah. Actually, me and Heidi had a. We were having a really fun jam, live jam, and we just kind of like jammed out this stuff. Heidi was playing drums. Drums. Uh, you, Write the beats. <laughs> you made, like the you might not associate here, me with the beats. <laughs> yeah. This track. Write the beat. Yeah, Heidi was at the beats. Um, so there's like some hip hop production career ahead now. And the world's my oyster. <laughs> yeah, so, definitely. Yeah, I was just, you know, fuzzing it out. Playing some jam. guitar, like, normal. And then, uh, <laughs> we, um... <laughs> you know, did I normally <laughs> play guitar? Mm -hmm. Or, like, guitar is a normal thing to just play? <laughs> <laughs> At least, you know, like, stick to your guns. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You, um, you refined the guitar. And then we refined the song over a period of a few uh, sessions with uh, ourselves and then with our friend... Michael Tomlinson, who used to play in If My Blue, My Remember That Band. Yeah, also involved in his own band called Many Things, and another band that I can't remember. Factory Seconds. Oh, cool. They're yeah, called sweet. Factory Seconds. Okay. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I don't know. Is that yeah. a boring story? No, that's no, cool. Five dollars. So it's the first material um, from you guys in a long time. Uh, what led you back to like the recorded sphere? The sphere of recording. <laughs> uh, Which is different to the cone of silence. The obviously. cone of silence? Yeah. Yeah, whoa. Well, the cone of silence was getting too quiet, and then we thought, let's move over to the sphere of recording, make some noise in there, bounce it around. Yeah. I mean, the truth is we've been recording for three years. So, like, we've actually been working on it for a while. Yeah. Um, kind of since we got off tour three years ago. Uh, and, yeah, the thing is, we wanted to do this completely ourselves and take control back and Al wanted to produce and we were like, yeah, let's buy a studio and do that. Let's take that journey. <laughs> and the journey was long and it was hard at times, it was really great a lot of the time. And now we've got an album we're really excited about. Yeah, and, and uh, like the, with that sort of journey where you did it yourselves, did it feel very different from last time? Did it feel like you had more control? Did it feel like there was too much like freedom at times? Like, how did that feel? Yeah, I think yeah, so. But um, on the like, I don't know. It's stressful either way because it's like someone else is making calls that you're not really happy with. They're sitting in the big chair, taking your thousands, wads of just cash <laughs> flowing around. You know, there's cash everywhere. Drinking irresponsibly. Drinking irresponsibly. Yeah. Not mentioning and, it. And um, <laughs> you know, so you've got that. But then on the flip side, when you do it yourself, you're in a sea of decisions. And there's and just drowning sometimes. Drowning in decision making yeah, processes. Drown. And you just like, you're flotsam and jetsam basically. Yeah. Flotsam and jetsam or stuck in the tank. And I, I imagine there's not as many wads of cash flying around when you're doing it yourselves. Unless you, did you like do a bit of like a the, the rap game and just throw cash everywhere? Nah. That Maybe stage with some yet to come. Monopoly money. <laughs> Yeah. No, but it was great. We, we we bought our own gear and we moved the studio to about six locations in the end. Spent a bunch of time up the coast at Foster, yeah. um, a little place called Charlotte Bay. We were there oh, for yeah. three months in a, a house that was too small for three people, definitely in hindsight. <laughs> but we went to, like um, swimming and surfing a lot. Yeah. So we had some great moments. Um, with the video that you've released, it's just, just, just come out actually, um, it's like very emotional, it's very raw. What sort of was behind that? Did you just feel like it was time for a really like hard hitting color? Like it's very colorful and it's great. Yeah, it's um, we've had a potted history, like a potted relationship with our past video efforts. Like I think we were not naturally in front of the camera kind of people, uh, but we want to be at sometimes, and sometimes we're like, no, never again. How good is your so, dance? Yeah. Heidi can't say that, but how good is that bit? I think it's amazing. It's so good. You. When Thanks. you said you wanted to do a dance, I was like, 
this could probably be good, but <laughs> who knows? Yeah. And then, but then the final thing I was like, when you're doing it in the studio, I was like, this is definitely a good dance. And then in the final cut, I was like, this is even more definitely good. It just fits the song, and it's not like a dance song. So I was so surprised and happy about that. That yeah, was great. Right. I'm glad it didn't did disappoint because I was nervous about it, but we like we wanted to sort of be really involved in this one. And yeah. our girlfriend Imogen, who's a sick director, she did the clip, so and she knows us really well. So we were kind of confident going in that she knows our personalities and knows what we're gonna like. Yeah. And she nailed it. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Um, so you've also come off a bit of a run with Dope Lemon as well. Um, Angus Stone's obviously a huge name. Um, how do you feel like? Uh, you know, like, did you did you feel like you had any take homes from, from working with Angus Stone, like on tour? Um, do you feel like it, that sort of impacted your live show at all, or do you feel like you just you do you and? It was fun, uh, fun getting a while ago when we went on stage with those guys, uh, Angus and Julius Stone. That was really cool. Yeah. I don't know. I feel like um, our live show is really different, mm -hmm. isn't it? But I can two days. Yeah. Vibe on stage. yeah. Um, but I'm excited. Angus texted me the other day and said, come up to bar and let's have a jam. Yeah. So I'm pumped to give that a shot, see what happens. Yeah, he's great. So some like cloud control, dope lemon, yeah, co-mingling. Dope cloud. Do <laughs> that really sounds like Angus Stone's like house, I feel. Lemon <laughs> control. Well, Jules and I were uh, collaborating on tambourine techniques at the time there, because uh, we both share a bruise, uh, just a regular bruise from our tambourine efforts. And, she was, um, I, I apparently encouraged her like up the ante so her bruises were getting bigger because you know, you've got to own that instrument. Oh, you got, she plays it well already, but yeah. we were like geeing each other on. If you, if you want to get some good tambourine action, uh, the lead singer of The Belligerents also has a great action. His is more like a chest action. Oh, it's yeah. very, like, check it out. It's bold, but it works. Yeah, um, so what else can we expect um, from like, the refreshed do it yourself cloud control in the next coming, like the coming months? Uh, what about the album? Mate? I don't know. What about it? Like, what isn't on I mean, there? Look, we, you know, Rainbow City might be a bit of a red herring, really. Like, you yeah, know. It's funk jazz now. We, <laughs> yeah, funky jazz. We wanted, there is some funky stuff. There's, there's some pretty funky there is, stuff. Yeah. There's because some pretty funky stuff. We wrote it without a bass player, and Alistair stepped up to play the bass. And he plays it really well, yep. but you know, he's not technically the bass. When the it band, comes to bass, I'm a funky guy. <laughs> all all that one on the record. <laughs> and you guys have been obviously touring for ages and you've been on a lot of festival builds. Uh, if you were like putting together uh, um, a list of like your favorite Aussie acts at the moment, who would you be Who would you be uh, recruiting? All right, Jack River, yep. AKA Holly. Um, she's a great mate and just her songs are so good. I've been privy to some of her demos that are coming out later this year. I'm so excited. She's gonna nail it. She's the song that she's about to release is gonna is gonna be big. It's a really great track. So check her out. She played today at two. We missed her unfortunately, but she's amazing. Who do you like? Oh, I'm gonna do a really Australian thing to do and claim someone from New Zealand and yeah. say Aldous Hardy. Okay. Uh, her yeah. new stuff's so good. Just incredible. Really, really good. Like amazing. Uh,